healthcare lawyers can be the most effective in what they do by embracing change. As data is becoming more valuable, I think people are thinking about it a little bit more critically. Particularly in the healthcare space, continuing to be able to maintain your operations in the wake of a cyber attack is critical. Healthcare data security requires focus now. What's ultimately at stake is the future of an organization. There's more data and more places being touched by more people. So every one of those places is a potential weak spot. The protection of healthcare information is absolutely critical to patient confidence, and it's also a big area of legal risk. The health law community is at the center of effective cybersecurity strategies essential to safe healthcare. We're dealing with people's health. It's life and death now. It's not just financial data. Having built a good system in 2015 or 2018 does not at all mean you have a good system today. It is important now. Cybersecurity is important now. 2021 set a new record for healthcare data breaches. Hackers are highly motivated. Data is a hot commodity. The Office for Civil Rights says more than 45 million healthcare records were exposed or impermissibly disclosed. The best incident response strategy is preparation, preparation, preparation. The health law community is focused on the increasing threats and evolving legal challenges. When you're talking about privacy compliance and these emerging data issues, it's really critical to think about things from the perspective of all of the players in the system. As data has grown and access has grown and we use technology more and more in the healthcare system, the value of healthcare data for both good reasons is enormous, but also for bad reasons, and that is, as you said, an absolute global threat. So oftentimes the work that, you know, Alice and Sunita, Jamie and I are doing is educating those companies to say, okay, you might have very good technology, but how does this look in the heavily regulated environment? Providing practical solutions and navigating complex government investigations. Look, there's an uptick in enforcement. You know, the government is looking at how companies protect the data, how they tell people they're protecting the data, and how they are taking care of their systems. It's about reducing risks while innovating new and expanded data uses. Understanding the cutting edge changes that are happening everywhere from cell and gene therapy all the way up to the devices that help install new body parts that allow us to live our lives better. Data security and fraud issues can be costly for the healthcare industry. National Healthcare Anti-Fraud Association estimates conservatively that about $68 billion is associated with fraud in the healthcare industry every year. Even ransomware has evolved over the last couple of years. Now 80% of the cases actually exfiltrate or steal data along with it, which actually poses particularly concern in the healthcare industry. Security is really a people problem, not a technology problem. Cybersecurity is critical for healthcare, for healthcare businesses. Health law professionals with individualized expertise know staying a step ahead of the very real threats requires collaboration and quick, well-planned responses when there is an incident. What are the things that we're going to do to make sure that we can still provide the level of service or the level of care to patients, even though we may be under an active cyber attack? That's job one. AHLA and its members are central in this critical area, connecting and educating the health law community. So AHLA has been really great in staying on the frontier of cybersecurity. AHLA members do everything in the healthcare industry. I think for this particular issue, everybody needs to know something about it. We're all gonna be patients of the healthcare delivery system. And at the end of the day, we all need to rely on our healthcare delivery system. So be proud of what we do and do it with that in mind. Watch the full program at AmericanHealthLaw.org.